Hey guys, Justin here. I mean city beach right now, but this is not really city beach that you guys probably know about because if it's actually the beach, it's uh, around, around a little bit of a walk up there. So, but here's Launceston Avenue, which is the furthest down south that Transperth serves for the city beach routes here with 81. So, yes, we're gonna take 81 today. We'll start off with the city beach routes. There are quite a few. They go all over city beach, so that's fine. But I've taken them all, so it's just when we start filming them. So we start with 81 with a request by Ethan Wong. Thank you so much for this request. I just took him. I just took this bus actually down 81, uh, 2288 over there, carrying up service. And I actually meant to actually just walk around this uh, boat park here to just actually waste time to wait for the next service to actually don't need to walk around here. But I don't need to because I took all the way through. I didn't talk all the way through, I took it from Leaderville. And I, I said, when I get off, and then the driver didn't open the back door, so I was like, eh, okay, just walk to the front door. As soon as I walked to the front door, the driver asked me, are you Justin? <laughs> so, yeah, got recognized by another, got recognized by another Karen Yup driver. <laughs> there that goes, he said he watched my videos, so that's why I was just gonna take him straight back. Don't need to wait for another one, because then, he already know that what I'm doing, so that's why that is not gonna be weird. Perfect. I know it's a bad bus, but it's a pretty crappy bus, 2288 over there. But then perfect. I don't need to wait for another one because it is one hour per bus, so that's why perfect timing. We just can take him straight back to Perth Passport. And I can save some time because if not, it's gonna be pretty late. So perfect. Appreciate it, driver. So we will, I the 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 uh, the the. Uh, the, uh, the generator asked me to film at the back i'm using random dot walk every single time and it says film at the back for an even number will be at the back but with a good driver we're filming at the front so that's why let's go we'll get it 2288 over there and departing city beach with decent driver so let's go Now I have never taken the other direction 81, so that's why this today we're going to experience it. I've taken from Perth Passport over here, and today from Leaderville, so... But I haven't taken this direction, so let's do it. This small section right here is actually unique, just this one section. It's no stops here because of the uh, correct direction thing. So there are two deviations with this service, and this stop is the outbound stop, I mean inbound stop. And there is 82 and 83 on there. What the hell is put a freaking... They put a freaking skeleton on that bench. What the hell? <laughs> the 83 is a school days exclusive uh, extension trip from here over to Perth Passport. And then the afternoon will be from a school in Churchlands down here to the extension trip. So it's not available today on school holidays. 82 is weekends. We'll be extending from the normal terminus up there to serve this extra session that 81 doesn't run on weekends. And also, 82 will be doing that extension as well. Basically, 82 weekend trips will be also doing so after 81 ends on a weekday. So that's why it will come in after all the 81 finishes, and then it will be 82 continuing with this section at night time while 81 is doing this. Plus, we have two deviations. One is just a very stupid one, where it needs to loop in and serves the 82 terminus, just that one stop. And the other one is the floor rate deviation. So is the same as the 28 so we're filled with that on the 28 but we can do it again on the 81 so let's do it good driver so that's why he doesn't even care what i'm filming I uh, also want to say is the flies are coming back in. I just got uh, one to two flies actually attack me down there when, when I'm waiting. So that's why. Thanks bro today for the stuff. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh. The, the thing is this window got shitted on by a bird. You see the, the, the bl splash at the front over there. Literally it's just bird poop on there. Freaking A. And here's the first deviation. We're gonna turn left to serve the normal 82 terminus. 
which the uh, non-deviate entrance which just actually turns right, but we're gonna go this way to serve the normal stop over there. Pretty funny because when I'm bored, the driver just say hello, and then when I get off, he just said when I when I'm Justin. That's so funny. And normal people, of course, using it, pretty decent, quite useful actually. But for the 81, is really weird the timetable. Oh my gosh, my hands just got drenched there. I don't know why with sweat. Oh my gosh. I've been to City Beach, but I've never actually come here and tried to actually eat at some of these places. I might come here during the holidays. So, But the 81 has a really weird timetable, because I, I don't think any other normal non-high-frequency route actually has this kind of... Oh, they're the same, the same dude. Oh. One of the same passengers. <laughs> he dropped off right there earlier on and he's got back on now. So yes, talking about the 81 weird timetable. All of the trips, all of the non-high frequency routes during the morning rush hours will of course have increased frequencies towards the city or inbound direction towards train stations. But for the City Beach 81, of course they have increased frequencies towards the city. But I found out that there's two, one weird section in the morning, literally in the morning r rush hours, towards City Beach, one at 7.18 and then one at 7.28. Ten minutes for those two buses. Why? Can someone actually explain to me why the hell it is actually needs to do two buses within ten minutes for that one time? I asked Mark yesterday because I was figuring out, and then what the hell is that? And then Mark said probably due to school holidays and school days deviating trips, that doesn't run, so that's why they just run two normal trips. No, I checked it on the school days, it is the exact same two trips. There's no school deviations for those trips. And there's one 718 and one 728 to a city beach. And then the weird one is, the 718 trip is already deviating trip. Like what? And then 728 is not deviating, but 718 is deviating, Floriet and also the 82 terminal stop. Such a weird timetable. Can actually someone explain to me why it needs to do two outbound trips within 10 minutes during the morning rush hours? Usually it doesn't increase frequencies and after that it's like one hour per bus, so that's fine. <laughs> okay, so 82 goes up there. That's the difference from there. We will do 82 definitely. I don't know whether I want to do 82 during weekends to do the extension as well. Because weekend they actually do the extension and also regularly do the uh, residential house house care deviation up there. So today not going to get stopped for sure. Not going to get stopped because the driver knows who I am and he watches my videos. So that's why, of course, no problem. And then he already asked me, is, 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 am I actually the one that actually already went to all of the routes in Perth? And then of course I said yes, because I've taken everything. Okay, here we are, the person. Anyone is weekdays exclusive? It's just the Launceston Avenue section that's the down there served by the 82 on weekends as well. But this section along here is not served. You have to walk up top to, to the 82 instead, which is kind of annoying, but... Floor reform is regularly served though. Unfortunately, that floor reform is pretty crap on weekends because on weekdays it's served by 82 normally, and then the 28 and 81 deviation. But on s Saturdays, 81 doesn't run, 
but and then 28 still does the deviation, so Saturday is not as bad. But Sundays, 28 doesn't do deviations, and then 88, 81 doesn't want it. So on Sundays, only 82 is serving floor rate for him, eight, one hour per bus, which is pretty bad. But on weekdays, it's pretty decent because both are doing deviations, and 82 is also serving normally, and also 83 is also doing deviations as well. Now the section after the binding of the stuff on Cambridge Street is just going to be the same as all the other things, but uh, whatever, we can do it all the way through. And after that we'll do the uh, spotting clips. Not spotting clips, I think, ah, I would have to do spotting clips, but because he's going to do another route after that, I don't know what he's going to do. So, I'm not going to take him again because I'm not going to give him any trouble. Although he probably don't, won't think I'm actually doing, it, I'm doing any trouble, but... Considering he knows who I am, he knows what I do, so that's why... Oh, here's floor at forum deviation. Let's do it. Turn up. It's the same way as the 28, so it's just we'll film it again. Why not? Now, but that now the other direction towards City Beach, they actually doesn't drive into the deviation of the main road. It actually turns in from the main road one block earlier, and then do a narrow inner street before going to the deviation because it's a little bit too hard for them to turn from the main street right directly from that spot so this remembers to do the deviation so that's all good this is a very regular deviation like every single trip in off peak is doing this deviation so Earlier on from the city, it is used for the that stop in there, and then after that's no more. But up here we have quite a lot of stuff up here actually. This is where the 82 normally runs. This is the normal street that they run through. So 82 is normal stop for this uh, Floriat Forum D Floriat Forum stop. So it's not deviation, but 81 is a deviation here, and also 28. An 83 deviation will stop on the other side, so... And someone's using it. There it goes! So hopefully they know that this is towards the city. Because the 82, if they're taking 82 towards the city, is actually the other side stop. It's not this side. This side is City Beach for 82. It's just 81 both directions are stopping here. So, and 83 both directions are stopping on the other side. Oh, it's right there. Not over there. Somewhere at the back. Just right across to where we are stopping earlier on. And we have one more stop over here for the deviation and well used. They all have unique sections for 81 to 84, so that's why I've taken them all. It's pretty okay. 84 is pretty well used though, because it runs along where the circle route actually runs from the city, so it's okay used. 83 is pretty crap. And also that weird stop that Mark filmed looping around the park. <laughs> so. And 82 is pretty used as well, so that's 82 and 84 is, are the only ones that actually run on Sundays and weekday, weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, and public holidays. There's that, 81 turns left to serve the normal stop. So, which there's the deviation, oh, because we actually cannot turn from over there directly in there, so that's why it needs to turn one earlier. 
And then this is the normal stop that it actually s is served regularly every single day with the deviating trips, while the other side stop is only served by the rush hour trips. So, yep, this stop right here, this is the normal stop for the 81, which is served regularly every single trip, while the other side is only served by rush hour trips, non deviating trips. <laughs> which is pretty weird because for the other direction 81, it turns right here. It turns right here. This is where it goes in to this street and then turns into the deviation from there. So. Oh my gosh, that's such a crap timetable. What the hell? That is so crap, the timetable. Oh my gosh. Weekdays exclusive, such a small timetable. Oh my gosh, so bad. I might as well actually go and take a th thumbnail inside Perth Passport because never have I done taking photos inside Perth Passport. So, you know, just take a photo. Maybe the thumbnail will be the inside Perth Passport just to make it a little bit cooler. flying next to me. It's not a fly, but oh my gosh. Oh, another thing on here. Oh, 95, I think. No, 82. Oh, already bind with 82. Low. Alright, now it's the same as the 82 all the way through. We're into somewhere near Subiaco already. And we have Selby Street coming in where the 650 actually binds in as well. And here's 85 where it turns down from Selby Street and there's 650, so there that goes. I thought all oh, these guys are waiting for bus right here, but no, okay. It's just Cambridge Street, so let's go through. I might come here and actually eat one day, but I've checked on Google Maps and all the stuff around here is pretty crap, so... Like all the fast food chains and stuff, which is not really anything restaurant type, so... That's why. There are restaurants, but it's just it doesn't open at night sometimes when I want to come here.
Oh my gosh, another dumb one. Another dumb stand. Both, all three routes goes the same path. And then 82 and 85 says via Wellington Street. And then 81 says via Cambridge Street. Like, what? That is so dumb. Lack of consistencies for these stupid things, you know? Now, I don't actually thought I was gonna be late, so that's why I, I just took trains to Leaderville from Canning Bridge. But I could have actually got a Perth passport, but that's fine. And I, and, uh, I actually didn't know that. They're actually running W patterns the entire day, the entire week, for the showgrounds, Royal Show, just to bring people down, which is crazy. So, because of that, with extra trains need to run on W patterns, they're running out of B series to run the Express on the Showgrounds Express. So that's why it is A series running Showgrounds Express this year. It's the first time ever. So that's why later on I'm just gonna go take it because never done an A series Express yet. And yes, they're not running C series because Mark already s actually chatted with a giant driver on the train one day when the train is completely empty. So that's why the driver invited him into the driver's cabin. <laughs> Just for like a chat, so and then, and then the driver already told him, no, C series will not be running on the Showgrounds Express because if if at any moment a C series died on the Fremantle Line track, it is dead for the whole day. So that's why it will be dead for the whole day of operation. So that's why they're not risking that. They're just putting in A's and B's. And I think 83 and 84 has came in already, so that's why this is just the common section all the way through now. It's high frequency, this section, all the way, so... For all of these stops. Yep. All five routes are here. So it is high frequency for this section to Perth Passport. These actually won't get changed, so that's why later I'm just gonna take shots for. And now at this stop, every single thing said Wellington Street for all of the routes. Like, what the hell? And also, it's so pointless to actually name them out separately. 81 again. I haven't even seen another route yet. What the hell? 81, there it goes. 2253. Nice. Refurb, carrying up, there it goes. Now, 81 is run by practically every single depot. I'm not joking, it's practically every single depot. I doubt Joondalup, but I have seen carrying up of course, I have seen Binya buses on it, and I have seen the Shenton Park Depot's buses on it as well, so that's why. So yes, I've seen Binya buses on this thing as well, so that's why it's lucky it's a carrying a bus today for easy film. Ah, uh, still a long way through Cambridge Street here. Damn, I actually smacked at that fly. I actually need to wash my hands. Damn. There are no red lights here at all. This is not cool. There are no red lights here. I just smacked at that fly and I killed it because there's blood on my hands. So there's the 85 to the uh, to the uh, deviation over there, Port College slash West Leadville Station. It's not really going to Port College in the morning. It's just going to West Leadville Station for that. Towards the Perth passport on school days, which is okay that trip. And in the afternoon, I don't know whether they did the afternoon, they're actually doing any 80. I think they might start a trip from Ballpark College in the afternoon, but we already made it to Leadable Station. So, and here's this red light. I bought it right there earlier on. I hate this light, by the way, Southport Street. This light for cars are fine, but for pedestrian, I've tried to actually cross it one time by being a good citizen, by waiting for a green light. I pressed the button, and then I waited for like three minutes, and it never changed.
I still gonna receive electrics on the green cat. I don't know whether 4008. Oh, just kidding. Instead of fu instead of freaking electrics, we get the crappy future bus. Ugh, terrible. <laughs> It is another freaking future bus inside there. Oh god, uh, terrible. So a future, a, a crappy future bus replacing another crappy future bus. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, ninety six over there, twenty eight seventy two. Now I believe the I actually don't know. Is the uh, extension 96 school days exclusive or is it actually weekdays? I'm actually not so sure about that one and I'm not gonna check it right now, but whatever. 85, 28, 78, there it goes. A Mount Claremont service. <laughs> so you see all these depots are doing it around the area, so. I uh, should be able to cross through. I don't know why actually 81, the outer direction 81, they actually cross that way and actually turns down Southport Street and then turns. While some of the other ones turn from here, then there's like no difference. And I'm not really getting that one, but that's fine. It's really weird. Alright, here's uh, City West Station. See an express. It should be A series on the express the entire day because no more. You can't even have any extra B series over here. So it should be all A series except the airport line trains, of course. And there's an airport line train right there. B series going there. That goes. No one for City West Station. Uh, probably waiting for the cat. And there that goes. Claremont. Three cars. Z120 something. Non service, 2806. Probably going over 96 again. And there's the electric. There that goes. 4007 again. Freaking A. <laughs> it has been 4007 every single time, and I see electric cat. Uh, 2629 over there on the yellow. Still no, still no electrics on yellow yet. Which they definitely could have run an electric on yellow. It's just running along Wellington Street. Come to this water town very soon, actually. For when I go, when I have my when I have birthday, my birthday's coming up, so this thing's probably gonna release way behind afterwards. But I tried to actually get myself a uh, pair of shoes, so it's like imagine to go buy it at the Nike outlet. So I think it's inside Water Town. So for that Nike outlet, I've searched on Google Maps. So. Because I'm a kind of a weirdo, I can say my I, I do say so myself. Because when I buy shoes, I always want green shoes. <laughs> it's not like any of the darker green; it's the uh, it's the light green color, which is what I like. So that's why. Especially, I'm not joking. I'm wearing light green right now. You see, light green. That's my shoe. No one. Next is passport. Literally that dude, literally this dude next to me, he just took all the way to City Beach and he just took it right back. Like how long, what did he, what did he, did, what did he do in City Beach? Like what the hell? Okay. What the hell is going on here? Why the hell we got stop signs on the bus lane? What? And 
990, there that goes. Scarborough Beach bus station, 2256. And 2288, stand two, there that goes. A gas bus right there. That's a base water gas bus. Is that a base water? No, 2023. Yesterday I premiered the 249 video, and it was 22 2023 there for that one. So 84 right there. Is that not a carrying up? Oh, not a carrying up. Ugh, terrible. 2269 over there. We got a gas bus 38. And passport arrived. And passport. Let's drop off right here. Might take a photo at the front of the bus if he doesn't kick me out. 81 TC over there. All right, uh, he didn't, he, he almost a perfect pal. He didn't set up, he didn't keep the pistol on, damn it. Now I'm service already, but that's fine. All right, not taking him again, but of course he might appreciate my, uh, my company, but not gonna, not gonna screw around with him. So hope you guys enjoyed this video smooth always whenever the driver recognize me and know what I'm doing always cool so that's fine check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram click on these videos up top and I'll see you guys next time peace uh, hang on let's shoot him out because he's right there there that goes he's saying hi so that's why there that goes peace